Hey guys, so you're gonna find out what happens when you try to punk strangers in public. I was just wondering, do you wanna, do you wanna see my balls quick? Your what? My balls. He had to ask a second Most time to make sure. Too comfortable with talking sh behind a computer screen using their keyboard instead of their fists. Oh. But in today's world, some pranksters who are chasing views and likes occasionally forget that they're no longer behind the protection of a computer screen, and that's when they f around and find out. This. By the way, guys, I think most of these are probably real. Let's be honest; some of them might be staged as well. Let's just go through all these on the assumption that they're real. And I'll have my opinions based on that fact. British YouTuber was roaming around the streets of the UK harassing people. Is this your girlfriend at all? Yeah, it is, yeah. I was just um, wondering, she want to see my dick? That's disgusting. What? Uh, she want to see my dick? What do you think? I don't know, mate. That's what I'm asking. Mate, calm down, mate. Calm down, mate. It's a prank. It's a prank. That's all it is. It's a prank. Look, it's just spotty dick. Spotty dick. That's all it is. You know, mate. You know, you know, look, the guy is laughing. I wouldn't have been that good a sport, and I'll tell you why. Being that I'm an old-fashioned guy, I think it's absolutely terrible that a man is put in that situation with his girl. One, no old good old-fashioned guy wants to see his girl disrespected in public. And two, being that he's like in a protector role, so to speak, he kind of has to like set an example that that's not okay. So things could have been heated or even gotten really physical there. Um... I probably wouldn't have handled that situation as well, to be honest. I, I guess kudos to this big guy for having a sense of humor. I mean, I have a sense of humor as well, but I guess the point is there are some lines you just don't cross, right? Although this time the people who he pranked were chill enough not to hit him, there has been other times where he hasn't gotten so lucky. Yo, what's going on, boys? Do you want some? Do you want a punch? What? Mate, you're looking at me. What? what? <laughs> After that, the video abruptly ends, so I think we all can guess what went down. For most pranksters, this would have been enough to call it quits and leave people alone. However, this guy just doesn't seem to know when to stop. I just wanted to ask you, do you want some d What do you mean I want some d You're like the kind of girl that eats d What do you mean? She just can't believe that she's walking around in public and she's actually getting asked this question. Like, who would expect to get asked that by a random stranger, right? This is like... A uh, once-in-a-lifetime situation for the worst. I mean, I live in the city, and you walk around every day, and you see how everyone's on the edge right now with the cost of living and how tough things are, you know what I mean? And look, I don't know how old this lady is. Let's just put, put her in the shoes of an average lady who might have, like, screaming kids all day, a career, a boss that doesn't respect them, making them do overtime. They may have had a fight with the husband, might have been caught in traffic for two hours. They're barely keeping it together on the verge of a breakdown. And then they have this obnoxious guy come up and ask, would you like some dick? Like, oh man, it's terrible. Hey, do you want some dick? Wait, what are you doing? It's a prank. Is this your girlfriend? Yeah, why? Do you want to see my nuts? What? Yeah. What, what do you mean? Do you want to see my nuts? What do you say? What? Yeah. What do you fucking say? He's handling what? this how I would. What, nuts? You're going to punch me? I will. What? What, you're taking your top off? Why are you taking your top off for? What do you, why, what, what do you mean you want to see her nuts? Does she want to see my nuts? What do you mean? My nuts. What do you mean this fucking prick? Before yeah, we get you to can't the next disrespect clip, someone to go like, like one that. of those YouTubers who asks you to like and subscribe, but this is my very first video, Ugh. and it would be much appreciated. Oh, so this is Mason's around, body um, cam, by the way. Check him out. Pictures my c What? And I was just wondering if you're interested in so. Picture of your what? My c What do you mean, you c My c You're not writing a f***ing head, mate. I'm not writing a head for, bro. Why do you want to show people your c I don't know, it's just something I like doing. I always take pictures of my and all. You know, I always show people. There is something seriously wrong with you in the head. <laughs> well, don't you like that at all? No. Come on, man, take no, two man. seconds. Don't touch me, man. Hey, what, what are you doing? Get, get, me, get, me, get off me. Don't me. grab me by the throat. Show you what the fuck you want Why you grab me by the throat for? Why do you want to show me your Well, it's what I do, mate. It was just a prank. Look, it's just I a cockerel. I don't a prank, mate. That's you're not right in the head. That dude was certainly right to tell him that he's not all right in the head. Yeah, man. I mean, that guy going about his day and again being randomly asked that question. Um, and, and for your own safety. I mean, hey, most guys are pretty comfortable with their sexuality. But don't forget, there's that old school generation that hasn't opened to the whole, uh, I guess you could say, acceptance of people that play for the same team. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm not saying that that's right, of course, but what I am saying is if you encounter one of those guys minding their own business on the street and you say, hey, you want to look at my cock? I mean, you could end up in some serious physical danger. And to be quite honest, uh, you'd have no one to blame but yourself, quite frankly. Because what this prankster does next is ridiculous. Who are you? Remember me from last weekend? We spent a hotel together. No, I don't, I don't recognize you. You put the strawberries on my b 
No. We did. We, we had we champagne and everything. Like she must be in dreamland. Why are you being so horrible for? Because I don't know no girl called Tanisha. What is Tanisha? I, I don't care what your name is. My name's Steve. My name's Tanisha. We spent know, last weekend together. Now. Why are you... you know, in this kind of circumstance, really, if I had someone this nutty come up to me, practical joke or not, I would just walk away and not even engage. Hey, sometimes you just know, need to know when to pick your battles. You've got to give me five One. seconds for. It's not even worth the energy. Why are you being Three, so horrible for? Four. Why? Five. Although most of the time these pranksters seem to walk away pretty scot-free with a viral video, which Jack will make Doty them guy. tens of thousands of dollars, there are a few times where pranks go severely wrong. In this clip, the prankster who is posing as a robber approaches his friend who is also in on the prank. Take your money! This is Aussie, that's a Commonwealth bank. After struggling on the floor for a bit, a bunch of people rush to the scene to assist what they thought was the victim. Oh. It's a prank! It's a prank! It's a prank! Oh! <laughs> but this now if there was an off-duty cop there and he had a concealed weapon or something he would have gone up in that situation probably like bang dead life over is that really worth it for a few hundred views on youtube or tiktok or twitch or whatever probably not time unluckily for the prankster shouting it's a prank it's a prank didn't do too much to defuse the situation because the damage to his face had already been done now i'm sure a lot of you have seen this viral clip before however there is a lot of missing context which will surprise you but for those who haven't seen it before this live streamer went to this gym which is owned by this man at first they were getting along but then this happened <laughs> Even after being warned multiple times by the gym's owner, he carries on mocking him. But then this happens. My hat. Damn, I love it. I love it. That wasn't a punch. That was a slap. It wasn't about inflicting pain. It was about inflicting the same level of disrespect what that guy was giving to him. At the end of the day, the guy was trying to make him look like a chump in his own gym in front of his friends and colleagues. And so you match that energy and you give him a freaking slap and make him look like a complete clown. Well played. That was probably the best reaction I've seen so far. Actually, well freaking played. You made him look like an absolute clown, and he is a clown. Oh, I didn't know that. Was Get some bad. pants and fit, you idiot. Actually, wait. No, actually, put the camera down. Wait. Some say that this was the most satisfying slap of all. Oh, time, it was the great. Even funnier part being the streamer's friend just watching this all go down. Happy slap After this, They left the gym, <laughs> and only once when he was in the safety of his car did he start talking <laughs> and even go as far as saying that he might sue. Bro, he's six foot two, two hundred and sixty pounds. I'm five foot seven, like one forty. What the do y'all expect me to do? Fight back? I didn't. This is the sad case of affairs that we live in right now, isn't it, guys? Like, you go up and you compromise some other gentleman's manhood. He takes matters into his own hands. That guy that slapped him doesn't seem like he was emotionally immature. He gave him a warning and then he retaliated. Um, you know, I don't know what state these guys are all in or what part of the world, but unfortunately the gym owner will probably be the one to get in trouble. And if this guy did sue, he probably would get some money for it. Sad that that's the world we live in right now, but... I didn't expect it. It caught me off guard. You can see, I didn't even f move when he hit me, so it's not like he, like, knocked me out. You can say whatever you want. I don't know anything about Brad. All I knew is that he's a gym person, and... You're such a weaselly slime ball, yo. I thought he was a cool dude, and... Bro, I didn't no, know you're a slime ball. Would fucking do that. But fortunately, after this all went down, the big dude invited the streamer onto the podcast and they talked it out. I got the whole, like, I got all, everyone being like, yeah, good, you show, you teach him a lesson. And then, but then I got a bunch of kids who were like, fuck you, you. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of that. I'm sure. You just, even now, like, you're not, you not at all seem disrespectful. You don't seem like that yeah. annoying streamer kid to me at all. And now, a few months after the whole incident went down, it's safe to say they are friends now, as seen in this clip when the kid was riding on the back of a motorcycle and his hat fell off. <laughs> Oh, he's no, he lost his hat. But luckily, the big dude was there to save his hat. <laughs> well, he was just right here. What? He got the hat. He got your hat, Rod. Oh my God, it's a full circle moment. Well, it's a full circle moment. How the tables have turned. This was not the plot twist I expected in the story. But hey, you know what? All's well ends well. Lesson in respect, lesson in kindness, lesson in humility. Hey, I'm happy. I'm happy there's actually a happy ending here. 
Now, although most people can agree that endings like that are much better since the young prankster learns an important life lesson, it is undeniable that pranks that end like this are more satisfying. Hey, excuse me, boss. I have a quick question. You want some beef or what? Stop playing with me, Stop playing with me. So my boy, I'm looking for A Street, bro. You know where it's at? Nah, bro, I don't know. Oh, you want some beef? Bro, are you serious? Bro, why are you looking like you're screwing up at me right now, bro? I'm just asking bro, you for directions. Whatever direction. you want to do, I don't know you, bro, but whatever you want to do, I'm with it. Bro, I'm just asking you for directions, bro. Do you want beef or what? Do whatever you got to do. But do you want some beef or what? Oh, oh, oh. hey, bro. Bro, it's just a prank. This is why you don't. As I said, a lot of guys are very emotionally mature these days, but some aren't. I mean, when you've got strangers on the street, you don't know their background. You don't know if they have, like, mental health history, criminal history, or whatever. You know, if you go up to a decent gentleman on the street, he probably won't react violent. He'll probably check you or slap you like the guy in the gym did, but it won't escalate too heavily. But if you go up to the wrong person who's unstable and who doesn't know how to check himself emotionally, well, then you've got no one to blame but yourself. It's actually a big surprise that it hasn't ended up worse for a lot of these guys on this video today. But then, to be fair, it probably wouldn't have been allowed to be uploaded on YouTube, so... Don't record pranks in the hood. What's up, my boy? Yeah, I'm trying to buy some weed and shit. You know where I can get that? Nah. Why are you lying to me, my boy? What's going on, bro? Why are you getting nervous? Getting nervous. What's yeah, what's it looks up? like you're trying to get a punch or what? What's up, bro? This like, guy doesn't look all the way there either. Hey, bro, chill, bro. There's a video right here, bro. I'm not joking, bro. You trying to get punched? I don't security really or cop security? security and all that. I'm just trying to figure out, bro. You look like you're trying to get punched, bro. You probably got online training to be a little bit. Is that what they taught you on your online security training? You got a little fake piece on you, bro. I got something on me too, bro. It's good. Oh, what was that? Is actually wow. He's got a piece on him. Bro, did you see that? He's just punched. Uh, the only thing that bothers me about that is. Uh, I mean, I, I'm satisfied that he actually scared that young punk, you know what I mean? I have no problems with it. The reality is, now that that clip has gone viral on social media, he's probably going to lose his job. So that's a part of it that I don't like. Hey, quick question, quick question. Hey, are y'all together? Yeah. Okay, I, I just wanted to know if they wanted these nuts in their mouth. What the fuck you just saying, bro? Yeah. I mean, it's two of them and I got two nuts and I'm trying to figure out if they want them. I'm just trying to... Oh, oh. Yeah. oh my gosh, this is... Yeah. But even though some people have crazy public freakouts, there are a lot of people who are actually cool with the pranks. As I wonder if that one is serious. actually staged. Hey, the way you over here, homie, looks like you want to catch a fade That's or something, huh? Catch what? <laughs> you don't want to catch what? Catch a fade, homie. Catch a fade, nigga. What yeah. kind of fade, nigga? Uh, I want to give you a fade, homie. Give me a fade, nigga. fade homie. Nigga? I want to give you a fade, bro. Shave your head, bro. Come on, let me grow. What do you thought I was talking about? Gosh, he's, he's lucky. He's very lucky. Behind that tree right there. What's up, bro? Hey, I like that jacket, my boy. I have a crush, bro. Huh? I have a crush, my G. Like, on you, my boy. Like what? On who? On you, chill. Bro, chill out, my boy. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Chill out, bro. Dude, look, I'm talking about this crush. <laughs> what do you thought I'm talking about, bro? I think you told me you got a crush on me. Nah, bro. There's a camera behind that car, bro. <laughs> hey, my... These guys on the street don't always follow proper society rules. And, uh, I mean, he's got a good sense of humor, but I think he's just happy that he's going to be on a viral video. At the end of the day, that's the crazy thing about this, hey. People don't even care if they're disrespected if they're on a viral video. So you actually see two sides here. You see the pranksters who are trying to do anything, including put themselves in danger and other people well-being in jeopardy to get the viral video. And then you've got the other people that have been totally disrespected, but then they don't even care about that because they get to be on a, a viral video, which is really sad. I bet, that's so, that's so. <laughs> My boy told me that you was trying to catch a fade or something like that, you know? What are you talking about, bro? No, nah, you don't have to get aggressive, bro. I'm just... Oh! Oh! oh, oh. I'm talking about a fade. He was about to take me with that. See? He could have hit his head in the concrete than here. dead. Subway, subway, that way, man. Yeah? Okay. yeah Why are you giving me back. attitude, bro? You trying to get smoked or what? What do you mean, attitude? Bro? Hmm? The way you're walking and shit, it's my block, bro. You trying to, trying to get smoked or what? Why would you say that on the smoke, street? Bro. Are you nuts? I'm asking if you want to get smoked right here, bro. Even if this guy is not dangerous himself, you don't know who he knows. He could be from, like, I guess, middle-class Joe Blow, have a completely normal life. Or he could probably know some gangbangers. You don't know this. You're looking at the bull and he's about to run through the china shop, which is your body. You must be tripping or something, bro. What the f*** 
you mean smoke, bro? Who, who the f you think I am, bro? Mm -hmm. What the f wrong with you, homie? Why you on my face? Smoke, bro? baby. I'm who the f you think you're talking to, bro? bro? Smoke. You ain't trying to smoke? My camera, bro. Look. <laughs> See you again, like. Well, I guess in conclusion, guys, man, I've, I've got a pretty good sense of humor, I like to think. And But at the end of the day, I, I don't think there's any reason to go out and harass people in public. It could end very bad for them, or most likely it could end very bad for you. But guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one.